welcome back. Yeah. It is Cam Cowboy here with another video. Today we're playing Iron Throne. And with Iron Throne, you can see my beautiful little castle here. We got a Citadel level 1, but it's actually a Citadel level 30. Yeah, that's right. We just hit that. We hit that 30 mark. It is beautiful. 3.2 billion power VIP 28. So we're here to talk all about that, ladies and gentlemen. So the requirements to go from Citadel level 29 to Citadel level 30 weren't that bad. But here's the catch. All the benefits that you get from Citadel level 30 truly come when you hit that Academy level 30. With Academy level 30, we're going to be unlocking the Troop Training level 2 research mark. Now, Troop Training is an amazing research tree. It's one that I'm getting heavily into myself, and one that gives you a ton of great benefits because it increases the base stats of your troops. So, just like with Guns Glory and pretty much everything, all of your equipment, all of your stats, there are percentages. Percentages that are added on to a specific number. You can't just give percentage off of nothing and just say, oh, well, my troop attacks 1,200%. No, that's not how this works. So there's a base number that you get from the individual stat numbers of your troops. Now, what Troop Training Research does is it actually increases that base number. So whereas stats take this base number and just add a percentage to it, we're actually increasing this base number, which multiplies the effect of our stats, which makes us extremely strong. That's why troop training might honestly be the hidden jewel of Citadel level 30 and Iron Throne itself. So, in order to unlock this troop training uh, level, t this second troop training page, we need to go ahead and hit that academy level 30. Now, here's where all the catches start coming in. It's that academy level 30 only has a couple of requirements which include the wall to level 30. Now when you want to get the wall to level 30 we're also going to have to hit the forge which requires the iron mine at level 30 which requires a couple other things at level 30. So it becomes a true bear. Uh, I have yet to be able to do it. I'm still working on this myself. I literally just hit Citadel 30 a couple hour, not even an hour ago. So it's going to take me a little while to fully get involved with it. Now one of the biggest up advantages and bonuses of getting level 30 is going to be the resurrection of an ancient city's rewards. With this we're getting a million gold, 10 level 6 auras, 10 level 6 runes, and 10 execute nows. Execute nows are valued at 22,000 apiece. So if we're looking without the chests involved, that's 1.22 million gold in rewards just for hitting Sidel level 30. This is absolutely amazing. So what did I do with this? I went ahead and got VIP level 28. One of the biggest advantages of getting VIP level 28 is a 15% increase on my troop attack, defense, and health across the board, as well as going ahead and getting an additional 50,000 deployable troop size. So now, my VIP alone gives me 150,000 increase in my march capacity. This is amazing. I'm really looking forward to trying this out on the battlefield. This will come really nice and handy for the Capital War, so that is fantastic. Now, moving forward from just this, a little pay-to-win side of the aspect is going to be our Citadel Level 30 Celebration Pack. This might honestly be the best pack I've seen to date so far. We're getting 130,000 gold, a 100 slaughter material chest to go ahead and create some level 40 gear. 75 Master's Compasses, 3,000 Kindling, War Trumpets, and Shackles. Um, I can't do math that well, but that looks like 220 million stone. Again, the 20 million is incorrect. I don't know how to do math that well. Um, a whole lot of silver as well. I'm not going to calculate the food, but we're looking at about 500 million wood and iron together. A whole bunch of amazing speedups, and then the Epic Alliance gift box. So these rewards are absolutely phenomenal for a $50 package. I recommend all of you guys go top off all 10 of them. That's how good they are. <clears throat> now if you pair this up with your Gold Rush event, you will be getting a lot of amazing rewards. So make sure, maximize everything, you go ahead and hit that Citadel level 30. Now, do not go past Citadel level 30. It just simply isn't worth it at this current moment, if you guys are at least you know keeping pace with me. This is because research is king. The only reason to go from Citadel 29 to Citadel 30, besides these rewards in that pack, is going to be that Hero Troop Training 2 page. And you only want to get into that when you are fully done 
with everything else. Kind of jumped the ball on it myself. However, I'm extremely ecstatic for it. I love it. I'm extremely happy with how I have come with my castle and with all these new and latest upgrades I have made to it. This is Captain Cowboy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video and want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. Also, don't forget, go ahead and share this video with your ally alliance members. Help them learn a little bit and better your accounts because a smarter you is a smarter Iron Throne, and that's more fun. Swag, take it away with that elevator music. Do do do, my name's Swag. Do do do, here we come, cowboy. Do do do, yes I am. Do do do, killing new. Thank you, Swag. Thank you all for watching.